And climate change and severe weather are contributing to a growing food challenge in China, which so much of the world depends on. Janice Mackey Freyer reports tonight on how China is responding. From record rainfall to scorching heat, dramatic swings testing China's ability to cope with a changing climate. This summer, the heaviest rain in 140 years caused wide-scale flooding here that destroyed fields and tons of crops. The corn is soaked, the fields, the furniture. It's all garbage, he says. Last year, intense heat waves triggered the worst drought in decades. He's saying this is what it looks like when rice doesn't grow. It's all dry. Climate change is feeding a quest to shore up China's food supply. Food security now a national priority for China's President Xi Jinping. To produce more and import less at a time when geopolitical tension is rising too. The challenge in China, feeding one-fifth of the world's population with only 10 percent of the world's arable farmland. A campaign to expand farmland has reclaimed nearly half a million acres nationwide for staple foods like rice, soybeans and wheat. It's all rice, this woman says, even in the local graveyard. In some places, parkland was bulldozed to make room for corn. Concerns over food security are deeply rooted here, with shortages sparking unrest during the pandemic. It has authorities fixated on food technology, too. So each year we can harvest the six times for the crop. Six times? Yeah. Scientists are using indoor vertical farming and say they're harvesting more in half the time without disruptions from bad weather. Because we can control the environment of these kinds of cities, we can produce the food in everywhere. An all-out push to feed a sense of security. Janice Mackey Freyer, NBC News, Sichuan Province, China. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.